Hello everybody and uh, happy Earth Day. It's live from Miss Sharon's house. I'm going to do a little craft today that um, will relate to Earth Day. Um, I have a story that I'm going to recommend that you read with this for um, I guess anywhere from preschool all the way up to fourth or fifth grade. Um, you can get this on Tumble Books and it's called Rose's Garden. Um, and it is by Peter H. Reynolds, and the story of Rose's Garden is about um, Rose Fitzgerald Kennedy um, and a garden that she planted, but um, it's more of a, a fairy tale type story, a fable where she's in a magical teapot and going all around the world gathering seeds. And then um, the whole community helps her with paper flowers, um, and then her real garden comes along. And it's just a beautiful story that emphasizes community, faith, and imagination. So I highly recommend it. But let's get this craft. And um, you can do this with your child. I would say if you're preschool through maybe second grade, it would be something you'd want to do together. Um, third, fourth, and fifth, and up, um, they'd certainly be able to do this by themselves. So what you need are, um, this is a finished product. Um, what you need for this is some paper. Now I'm using um, tissue paper. Um, you could use wrapping paper, gift wrap. You can use um, scraps of newspapers or um, magazines that are colorful, junk mail. As long as you don't use anything that's too stiff, that would be difficult to fold. So in addition to that, um, if you have buttons or gems, like plastic gems, I'm just using a little disc of uh, construction paper for the center. Um, you need some sort of a stalk. I'm using a straw. You can also use skewers or pencils or um, um, what do you call it? Um, any other sort of long thin thing. And some scissors and a ruler. A ruler is not necessary, but we're going to do some measuring just because we'll do some math at home and that makes it all the more fun. And um, we're also using glue. Now I'm using tacky glue, but you can use glue sticks as well, or uh, Elmer's or regular um, school glue would be fine. So I have already measured, but I encourage you to um, get your rulers out and measure how large your paper is. And my paper was 10 inches by 10 inches, so we know it's a square because all the sides are the same length. And um, I measured all four pieces, but you could do that as well. Now, um, here's some fun for um, kids to do. If you've measured your pieces, why don't you do an estimation, write down a number, and what do you think the diameter of your flower will be when you're finished? So see how close you get. So, okay. So I have already made all of my cuts, I'll let you do that. And the next thing you're gonna do is layer all four pieces on top of each other so that they're all lined up. And why am I doing that? You're gonna make your first fold using all four pieces together. Nice. Sometimes you can even use your ruler to make a nice crease. And you'll see my doggies are around today. They like to join us no matter what. So hello to Griffin and hello to Wyatt. So now that I've made that first fold, I'm going to use this and fold it accordion style back and forth. And this is a wonderful way to practice some motor skills with your younger children. And it's also just nice and relaxing um, way to just do something that you don't have to think too much for the rest of us. So there we go, back and forth, nice strong seams. And it looks like I'm going to have some edges that don't quite fit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim that off. You see how that's not a full fold? So my scissors make 
that even with the rest. All right, now I'm going to fold that finished piece in half and nice sharp crease. And now I'm going to reach for my glue. You don't need a lot. Glue stick rubbing along would be just as fine. And I'm going to glue those two sides together. And once you've done this, you're going to do the same thing with the other three parts. So I will get started on that and I'll meet you in a minute. Okay, welcome back. So I've already cut now all four of my segments and the next thing I'm going to do is to put a nice edge on it. Um, as you can see, I had some rounded edge flowers and I had some pointy edge flowers. You can also use um, trimming um, crafting scissors with um, scalloped patterns if you wanted to. Um, don't happen to have any of those at home today. So I'm going to do another um, rounded pattern. So I'm going to take one of my pieces, the outer edge, and I'm just going to trim off, making a nice round edge. So that doesn't have to be perfect. We're, you know, replicating nature. But I'm going to also use this as the template to make sure that everything is fairly consistent in size among all my pieces. So layering the one I already cut on top and do a couple of those. As I said, this does not have to be perfect, but it does give it a sort of a linear look. That one didn't get cut. So now, the last step on the flower is gluing all four of the pieces together. So again, getting those rounded edges on the outside so that they all line up. Pretty forgiving craft. That's why I like it for younger kids. You can mess it up a little bit and get yourself right back. So now I fan it out. I see that it's all connected here. Last, I'm going to take the front and back and attach them to each other. And you can see my dogs are making another appearance. They try to stop in and check us out when no matter what we're doing. So this is Griffin. Hello Griffin. And so there is our flower and just a few more embellishments on it. As you can see I have some paper to put um, the stamen in and this is just going to be glued on the outside. You could use a gem or a button or something else if you'd like. So that's nice and cheerful. And then the last is to have some sort of a stem. And I have chosen to use a straw again. That's what I've got. You could even use pencils. Go out in the yard and grab some sticks. It's whatever works. This is called being at home and doing crafts with what you got. So I'm going to just grab that stick.
them along the crease of some of the flower petals. And there you have Rose's Garden. So I hope you will read the story on Tumble Books. Um, you use your library card to access Tumble Books. And um, if you don't have your library card number, um, if you don't have one, you can sign up for one on the Lancaster County website, Lancaster County Library System website, and we will give you a free library card until we're open again, and uh, you'll have access to all of our streaming content. So thanks for joining us today for Paper Flowers, and happy Earth Day. Yeah. Take care.